Hey guys, John here. So it's getting to be October, so it's time to make some creepy sounding patches. And for the first one of that is going to be an enchanted organ. And this is what this sounds like here. All right, so this is going to be actually one operator and seven orders of unison. So on the last video, it's kind of doing the same thing. So we have seven orders here. The pan is going to be zero. The only, actually the only slider really is going to be up is going to be the volume. So keeping that in mind, let's dive into the first operator, but keep in mind also that you want two times over sampling. So going into the first operator, something that's actually kind of very interesting is you see this, it's almost like a saw wave kind of, but not really exactly. The funny thing about this, if we go to convert shape sign harmonics, and this is actually an additive patch here, I kind of did this shape here, this ramp down here to the, what is this, the fourth octave, just kind of going from the top all the way ramping down here. And then if we FM this operator by itself, it kind of gives us a little bit of what a saw wave sounds like. So that's all the effects going on through here. So let's turn these effects off. Generally, when it's dry and you're just hearing the oscillator, it's very similar to a saw wave. The other stuff is kind of just added on spice and changing with graphs and so on that we are going to talk about. So moving on to our graphs here. So for our pan, let's see what we have here for our pan and the unison. This is kind of what we're going on here. So these first two are going to be the center, then right, left, right, left, kind of spread them out through the stereo field. And then if we go through the pitch, we can kind of see that this first one here, these lower octaves, so it's down one octave here, and those are going to be in the center, because generally lower end stuff should be in the center. And then the mid stuff is going to be here, you know, unchanged here, and then the higher stuff over here for the uh, unison pitch. Moving on to the phase random here, this is just a little bit of differences here, moving this up, just kind of slightly moving the different voices a little bit out of phase, so they kind of sound a little bit better together, so they're not hitting exactly at the same phase, which... If you don't know, if you have unison in there, the same phase and they're starting at the same time, it's just going to make the waveform louder. And if they're the same pitch, so that's something to keep in mind as well. And also for the pitch random, it's a slight bump here, which is kind of like doing the detune here, but a little bit more manual and a little bit more controlled. That's pretty much this in a nutshell. This is drop down one octave for this, uh, for this operator here. And then what else do we have here? We have going to a filter. So filter one. This one's going to be kind of interesting because we have our volume envelope in our filter. There's a little bit of an attack and it kind of goes down to the sustain and it kind of drops down for the for the uh, release here. Then we also have a cut on the LFO, which it's kind of zoomed out, but basically it's just a long kind of going back and forth. So then we turn that off and then back on. Interesting enough too, this next button right here is basically sending all this filter to the second filter. So now it's going to be going into this filter. So that's why we have this first uh, this first operator going down to number filter number one. It's going all the way to the effects. But keep in mind that this filter is also going to number two. That's why this output here is for filter number two. And this has the effects on as well. Now for the first filter, if you didn't see before, this is going to be the phaser. So if we right click here, we can go down to cherry phaser and we can kind of set these different amounts here. So the envelope is going to be 20% for the LFO, the cut is going to be 59 and the resonance at seven. Moving on to the filter number two, this one is going to be LP3. So the mango low pass, a little bit of drive, the cuts at the top and the envelopes also at 50%. For the pan, we're also doing this here. So it's kind of doing a very fast left and right corner, kind of like how you would imagine an organ to sound like. And we can see this down here is this really moving. So while the first filter is working on the cutoff, this second filter is working on the LFO panning. That's off and then here's on. Now with this type of effect, it's very, I guess to taste some, it's very easy to go overboard and make it a little bit too much. So keeping it a little bit tamed down is kind of nice to have. Mm -hmm. 
Moving on to our FX chain here, we have a little bit of order seven here for our uh, for our course. The course depth 59%, the speed 31, the delay 86%. Course spread is going to be 100%. The course cross, the course cross, keep saying crisscross, 66%, and the volume 100%. And also keep in mind, if you didn't know this, there's this drop down arrow here and you can go down to your course and there's a lot of different types of presets that are actually generally pretty cool sounding. So keep those in mind, keep that in mind if you want a quick little uh, preset for some of the effects and reverb has a lot of those too. I really like Cathedral and also Small Studio is a pretty cool sound as well. So moving on to the other effects for our delay, we have on and this is gonna be tempo, serial, and then two and three are gonna be off and then three is gonna be on for the reverb because we want the delay to run through the reverb. It sounds a little bit more natural that way. So for the first delay, the feedback is 59, the timing is going to be 3, the stereo offset 0, and then the volume at 78%. Moving on to the reverb, it's going to be on, W setting for warm. And then I didn't put on the tempo because I didn't feel like it was necessary for this. And most of this is default down here. The room size, this really kind of more matters, the 64% diffusion at the top. The decay is pretty small at maybe 2.5 seconds, 2.4, give or take, something like that. High dampening at 3K. And then the volume is going to be 36%. And all that combined turns out to this. That's pretty much this patch in a nutshell. If you like the patch, give a thumbs up or drop a comment. Let's talk about it a little bit. And if you don't want to recreate this, I totally understand that. The patch is available for free in the video description below. So check that out. And yeah, make something uh, kind of scary for Halloween coming up. So yeah, we'll see you in the next video.